If you're an educator, the newest Canva update is going to save you a ton of time. Instead of having to piece together tables element by element, you can now create data tables directly in Canva. Without further ado, let's hop in. Just a quick note before we hop into the tutorial. I'm going to be demonstrating how to use tables inside of a Canva Pro account. So if you aren't currently using a paid Canva account and you would like to give Canva Pro a try, you can go to lashondabrown.com slash Canva45 to get access to a free 45 day trial. Now, when the tables feature came out, I immediately thought about presentations because in Incorporating data into a presentation is an amazing way to educate your audience. Whether you are looking for a new collaboration partner, a sponsor, a potential client, there are so many applications within that format. And so what I did is I went within Canva and I searched for presentation and it pulled up almost 5,000 options for templates. So if you are not using Canva to create your slide decks, I would encourage you to give Canva a try. So we're just going to start with one of the templates they have available. And what we're going to do is we are going to edit one of these pages and add a table to the page. So say for instance, this particular graphic, we're just going to delete it and that's going to add an open space to incorporate a table. Now a table is accessible under the elements tab. So what we'll need to do is look on the left hand side, click on elements and then scroll down. Under charts, you'll find tables. Then you can click on see all to display all of the options. There are multiple styles of templates that you can choose from. And once you drop in the element of a table into your design, you can further customize it by looking in the top left hand corner. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select this particular one here. We're going to click and drag it to that open space. And now I'm going to show you how to customize it. To do that, we need to select the table and we're going to start with the colors. So if you look in the top left hand corner, you'll see color, give that a click and it will reveal multiple options for changing the color. You can use one of the default colors from Canva, choose a photo color, choose a color from your own color palette, one from the document, or you can click on the plus sign and use the color picker tool to choose a color from the design. So in this case, what I wanna do is utilize the yellow that's featured in this text here. And you can see that it changed the color from black to yellow in this particular section of the table. So to continue making that change, you just click and select the color that you need. Now what we can do is we can click on border and just like Excel, you have multiple options for your border. You can also change your border weight and your border color. So if we wanted to change that to the yellow, we could do that there. And if you wanted to make it a heavier weight, you would select it here. Once you've made color adjustments to your table, this is how you would fine tune it before dropping in your information. If you want to adjust the spacing, a quick and easy way is to select the entire table and drag from left to right. So if you wanted to make the first box more like a checkbox and then center the other columns, you could move it to the left and right just like that. You can also do the same thing going up and down. Now you'll notice there are three dots here on either side of the table and you can click on them to reveal even more options to adjust your spacing, delete rows, delete columns, add rows, add columns. So feel free to mess with that and you can also animate your table if you so feel the need. So once you have everything designed, what we need to do is double click on the table to be able to type in our content. And just like any other Canva design, you can click on the text and change the color to make it more legible.
and you can add your data directly in the table. So no more clicking and dragging square elements, trying to make sure everything is perfectly spaced. This is going to help you tremendously to be able to demonstrate your data in your Canva designs, whether you are creating a presentation or creating an ebook. So I'm really excited about this update and I think there are tons of applications that are going to help us to better portray our information to our audience. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If this is your first time here, my name is LaShonda Brown and I'm a Canva certified creative. Subscribe to my channel for more Canva tutorials and feel free to reach out if you'd like for me to train your team or community how to get more out of your Canva subscription. Until next time, ta-ta for now. Really quick before you go, I wanna make sure you know about my Bootstrap coupon book. Inside, you're going to get discount codes and links to my favorite tools so that you can grow your biz without breaking the bank. To download that, make sure you go to lashondabrown.com slash coupon book.